guys and welcome back to a new video and we are back with our not so berry starting videos that was the best thing i could think of to introduct into this video anyway we are actually building the starting house for um the not so berry challenge mint generation um this is not a starter house i need to i feel the need to like actually announced that this is not a starter house this is like 58k when i finished building it because i put so much detail into it and i had so much fun building it i will give you a heads up though there was no backyard i started to build like obviously you can see right now i started to build an area where i want to just make like a backyard and then it was like uh, i don't want to build the backyard so we're not going to and i just made no backyard so it's just the house at the front of the lot and nothing else in the back so if you want to download this house it's on the gallery it's completely finished it's in there you do need to make sure that you have bb dot move objects on because it is heavily used in this so that is my only advice but if you build like a backyard for it freaking let me know in the comments so I can check it out and maybe download some builds because like if you guys build a backyard for my build I will download it and put it in here like I hate building outside areas like I'm in an interior design program interior is the operative word there um outside not so much I know I have to worry about like building structure and stuff like that when I get older and I finish this program but I'm not gonna worry about landscaping I'm hoping that I'll learn enough that I'll be okay but I really do not like landscaping at all so the backyard like if you give me an area that has some stuff in it like trees or like land structures or something like that I'll go with it I will freaking build something or design a space but not if I just have a blank canvas. Like, I, I can't. I really cannot. Um, but I hope you guys like this house. Once it's, like, all said and done, there's a lot of changes that I make. So, there's a lot of stuff you'll see. But this is really just the entire thing. This is my entire time. My thought processes. My sit down and, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to like Google something. I've done that. There was a couple of times where I actually Googled how to do something in build mode because I didn't know how to do it. Thankfully, I figured it out and it's okay. And we have like everything figured out, but I love this house. I would truly, for people that don't know, I am in love with the color mint. It is my favorite color, like turquoise, mint, all of that kind of like range of color is my favorite thing in the world so what building this house i not only like focus on making the sim idea of like what i want the sim to see but i also like do i want to live in this house so yes <laughs> yes i do want to live in this house but i was very proud with how i ended up coming to an end with all my coloring I did realize after I finished recording this and uploading it to the gallery that I missed changing the windows. Obviously you can see that they're like a green color right now. I changed them all to white eventually and I realized that I forgot to change two windows that I end up adding when I add in like a city nook. And that's okay with me. I think it's a fun like weird character development into the house that I just happened to forget that they were green and not white. But it's okay. I, I still love it a lot. This is me. I think right now I'm, yeah, I'm Googling money. Yeah. I was like, I need money. I can't build this without cheats because I wanted to put a lot of detail into these things. So that's why it's so expensive. I just gave myself tons of money and went with it. I ended up giving myself at the end for like starting funds a thousand dollars at the end of it. That way I just have enough where I can survive and maybe pay some bills if I need to at the beginning or buy stuff that I need to buy. 
but I pretty much, I think I got everything in the house that I'm going to need or like good to start with. So hopefully, hopefully I don't need to add anything like major. I know there's some stuff that I will unlock as I get further into the career path of the scientific, um, the scientist career. And that I kind of like, left that for like, oh my gosh, words. I left that to my imagination and when I go through this and actually create this whole thing. So, yeah. I love these little fairy lights. I ended up putting two of them. See, I put two of them. They're so cute. I don't know why I love them. I, they're, I have no need for light, that much light in the room, but I love the look of them and that's what mattered to me. <laughs> so I included them. And then there's like me trying to fill in a space. It just looks so empty to me. And I still ended up changing a lot of things. I actually wanted to change the office walls to be different than the bathroom walls but I forgot until I had already finished it and I was showing my mom the design because I, I knew she loved the house because I love it so much and she's like I would live in that house it's so cute so I didn't realize that until the end but I was like you know I was looking at it and I was like I kind of like it I kind of like that they're the same situation and I don't mind that they're the same literally the same like wallpaper that's okay with me i'm sorry if you can hear my chair cracking i just i can't sit still i fidget when i talk and this is not a short video so i'm just gonna fidget for a while <laughs> heads up it's not going to be a short amount of time that i'm going to sit here and fidget around but there are a few things that i want to discuss with this um starting i brought some up in my character thing but not so much in these, um, not so much of how I want to play this, I think. I did mention that I put an ace flag in the, uh, in this house. I don't think it's shown up yet. It will show up eventually. I do end up putting it in when I'm putting, like, all the decorations, like, final decoration ideas in. But I want this character to be ace. I think it would be good for the fact that she is not only career orientated, but romance is not really her main importance of her generation. So I like the idea that she's a bit ace, like she identifies as ace. I am ace, and I thought it would be fun to um, explore that kind of story while I'm playing this game and I want to explore other stories so give me stories to explore I have I can only identify with Ace and Bi because I am both of those things so I can give a little bit of a story and back like ideas and reasoning behind things but I cannot go into depth for anything other than like bisexual and asexual so I really want people to help me out, make a true story to those things. But how, let me know in the comments like right now, how do you feel about the house so far? There's so much more for me to do and show you, but I'm loving this house. Like I'm just smiling this entire time as I'm looking through it. It's just so much fun to me. I really wanted to, with this, um. But this bathroom, I wanted to focus on, you know, she spent a long time at work doing all kinds of things and, you know, trying to solve the unsolvable stuff. And she really just needs to come home and relax. That's why there's a tub and a shower. I thought it would be really nice to have like a freestanding tub. That way she can either like take a quick shower before she goes to work or relax and just kind of soak in a tub after work. I think it's a good little detail. I tried to give so much character to this house to go with the idea that I'm creating in my head for the character itself, like the sim, and um, the story I want to tell while I play this. And I hope that I represented it as well as I want to be represented. 
I have no idea. Um, but that's just the hope, is that everything works out how I want it. I did off-center the um, tub, not the tub, the shower as you just saw. I wanted to mention that because I was afraid that the shower being against the wall where the towel and uh, rope were, that it wouldn't be usable. I have te play tested this before I uploaded it. Everything is usable. You can use literally everything in the house. There shouldn't be any issues. If there are issues, please mention them to me and I will fix them and re-upload the video or re-upload the house. But there's a lot of things that I like sat and once I finished this video, sat and went through and double checked that everything worked. I'm pretty sure everything works. I really hope because it would be very unfortunate if it wasn't. This is where I realized I wanted to put a uh, window seat because I just, I couldn't not put it in there. I realized that they still had, like they had them in the game. I really wanted to put them in there. I'm just so proud of it. I'm so happy with this build. I feel like it's a very cozy house, but also like, um, fitting with the character and the story that they want to tell. And I hope that a lot of people want to tell a story from what I'm building in this. And I hope that a lot of people like this, but also, seriously, if you guys build a backyard, tell me. I need one. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh my god, you're about to see me put in a lot of lighting in this room. Because I, I hated the idea of having that um, lamp and then the overhead lighting it just looked bad and then it was just so dark so i put a ton of little lighting everywhere those are the windows i forgot to turn white i thought it was still i still think it's really funny that like i just forgot to turn them white and i realized it after i uploaded it and i could have changed it but i just didn't want to i think it's funny and i'm gonna leave it so yeah so i was just thinking about it while i'm staring at this um I haven't mentioned like in I don't think I've mentioned it in any of my streams or anyone, but I'm going to England in November and I'm so excited. Like I want to go so bad that I'm making my way and surviving to last that long pretty much. I'm really excited that I can't even focus to do homework right now. I also just can't focus in general to do homework. Does anyone else have that issue? Like I have an assignment that is three days late now and I am sitting here recording a sense video because I just don't care <laughs> uh, yeah that's a really bad thing um please don't do do as I say and not what I do please um because I just can't I can't focus I don't want to do my homework so I'm not going to pretty much like unless I want to I'm not gonna be able to do it I'm just going to sit and stare at it and not be able to actually create anything. I don't know. Also, I discovered, so, because we're in the kitchen right now, I discovered the mint um, objects in the jungle pack I believe it's in. So now my favorite thing to use ever. It is forever going to be my now favorite thing, constantly. <laughs> I was really proud of how the kitchen came out because I added just cute little details and here's me fighting um, move, move objects you know <laughs> fun times if you've never experienced it it is not fun to try to get stuff on the cabinetry right um, but let me know if you're excited for this series I'm trying, my goal is to get, I don't know if I mentioned it before, my goal is to get um, a generation done in maximum 10 um, episodes. That is the goal. Reality, probably not so much, but it is the goal. That's the hope. Oh, here's where I found the flag. I sat and I was sitting and trying to find the ace flag. I know it's like tucked in the corner, but I thought it was the best location to see it, but not really take away from like the rest of the room. I don't know. I don't have an ace flag in my room, and I kind of want to get one. 
I don't have anywhere to put it. Like my walls are filled in my room. There's I have like one empty spot in my room, and if I put the flags there, my cat will knock them down. So that's a no go, I guess. <laughs> So I might sit and actually explain more of my game plan and ideas on what I want to do with this series and the character itself and the story I want to explore. But I just don't know what else to talk about. And the rest of this video is honestly just me adding details. So I might just leave you guys. I think I'm just gonna leave you guys to like watch the rest of it because I'm about to I'm adding the extra details and then I'm gonna do a little bit of landscaping. That's pretty much it. Um so yeah. All those by the way, the black screens while it's in my head. That's me accidentally pressing the wrong button and closing out the game. Like I don't close out for very long, it just closes out enough that it kicks my recording off. And it's always fun. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys listen to or watch the rest of this video without me talking. I hope you enjoy the house. I'll give a small little like better tour of it in the next episode where we start episode one technically of the series. And that's where I'm going to end this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to put some sugar on that like button. Comment down below anything you would like to see. I will see you all in the next one. And please... Leave me comments on the stories that I should explore. <laughs>